Hey everybody, so in July 2009, I was lucky enough to attend a conference called TED Global in uh, Oxford, I think it was. And it's a really, really, obviously you've heard of TED uh, Talks, or the TED Conference, an amazing place. And it's with amazing people there. And I remember one night I'd, I'd arrived at an event and I had my Kindle with me because I'd been reading earlier. And all of a sudden I looked over and I saw Jeff Bezos there. Now I try not to be too much of a fanboy with people, but with Jeff Bezos, I was willing to make the exception. I'm a massive Amazon fan. They always blow me away in terms of the level of customer service they gave. In fact, they didn't deliver to South Africa. They stopped delivering to South Africa for years, not because they couldn't make money from us, but because they could no longer guarantee the service at the level they were willing to give. And they would rather pull out of a country than not deliver on their service promise. Uh, amazing company, I've got so many stories about Amazon. But anyway, this particular day I go and I, um, I run up to Jeff Bezos and I say, hey dude, could you sign my Kindle for me? And you can see the picture here. I mean, I was blown away and he wrote Customers Rule. It's quite embarrassing, uh, the books uh, that I happened to be reading at that time. Don't judge me, but um, he comes first, you should read. Twilight, <laughs> maybe not so much. Anyway, I digress. So I go back to my hotel that night after the event and I'm sitting there and I see this, this kind of tweet come up and it says, uh, Amazon buys Zappos for like a billion rand or whatever. And I looked at it and then there's a video of Jeff Bezos uh, talking to his team and saying why he bought the company and the values and what it's about. But it kind of looked like it was shot on a phone camera in Oxford. So the next day I go up to him, and, but it was brilliant by the way, he delivered it so well, you can Google it, it was such a great speech. So the next day I went out to him, I said, dude, like, I watched your speech last night and um, I was so blown away. I mean, we do this for a living. We make videos of people and CEOs and we have to coach them and work out what they're saying. It looked like you just riffed, just went with it. And he said, I did. I said, wow, that's amazing. He said, do you remember what I wrote when I signed your Kindle yesterday? And I said, of course, you wrote uh, customer's rule. He says, that's it. He says, that's all I've got. That's the only story we have at Amazon. If you had to ask me to say a speech tomorrow or a year ago or five years from now, or ask any of my team to say a story, it would always be the same. It would always be that customer rules story. He said, you know, it, um, you know it, we're a one trick pony. That's Amazon. Amazon is a one trick pony. Give people amazing customer service and they'll come back. That's the only trick we have. And I said to him, dude, luckily it's a great trick. He said, that's the key. If you wanna be a one trick pony, make sure you have a kick ass trick. And I was like, wow, yes. So often we try to have so many tricks that we're okay at. But how many of us have a kick-ass trick in our business? I think when it comes to presentation theory, I think Missing Link has a great trick. I think we have a kick-ass trick. And that's what I'm curious about with what you're doing right now. How good, what is your trick? If I had to ask you, hey, what's the trick in your business? Amazon's trick is customer's rule. That's their thing. What's the trick in your business? The first thing is, if you don't know what it is immediately, you don't have one, right? That's something to brainstorm. And if you do have one, how well do you live it? If I was to ask one of your customers what your trick is, what would they tell you? And if that doesn't link with what you think your trick is and what they think their trick is, then Jeff Bezos would fire you if you worked for him. More importantly, he would change, move heaven and earth to make sure that happened. And that's the challenge for this week. Start thinking about what the trick is. And if you don't have one, think of the trick that you want to solve for people. And again, the great thing about Amazon's trick is it's not about them, it's about you. And that's how it should be. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks again for watching the Get Rich Quick Show. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button right here. And if you really, really, really like this video, hit the subscribe button right here. Check you next week. Peace.